welcome to the Appleton Museum of Art and our, our Zoom classes, we call them Art 101s. This one is going to be completely done with white paint. In fact, I want to show you, this is what we are going to be working on. And this is done completely with white. Uh, at the very end, yes, we can clean up, up different areas with some black, but mostly you are, you're just using a white paint, kind of like a positive negative space um, experience, let's say. Uh, you're going to create space by painting white and leaving black areas. Okay, so we're going to do a lighthouse with some rocks, and um, I'll show you how to just do a simple way of, of doing rocks. Again, you're just using the white paint. So you're not doing a lot of, of blending with different shades of grays or blacks. Um, you are creating an illusion, let's say, okay? If, I hope you have a black canvas. If you don't have a black canvas, um, you probably could mix up some gray paint and use the different shades of gray on a white canvas. But normally with something like this, I love to use a black canvas with white paint because it is very striking. And you can do a lot with, with just white paint. This one has been painted with a black gesso instead of black paint. Um, it gives it a very matte finish, but you can, use, you can use either one. When you go to trace on your, your lighthouse, I've put mine right in this area. You could actually put it any place you want to. Sometimes I have used chalk on this back of the paper and traced it. Um, other times, this is transfer paper, so it has a white chalk on the back of it, which is, is great. Other times, you know, if you're using a white canvas, you can use graphite paper and that will trace that, that graphite line. But this works, this works really well on, on, on black and you can erase it if you need to change anything. Uh, you can use a white pencil to do, to, to make some, some changes, or I, which is what I have done here. Mine is already traced on here and I've got it. The lighthouse, um, well, the lighthouse, if I was going to say how much of the painting, maybe generally a third, it's, it is, it is, it's kind of an equal balance of focus between the lighthouse and the rocks. Now, then again, if you make your lighthouse larger, it, it really depends how, how large you want your lighthouse. You can adjust that down low that I gave you to make it bigger, or you can make it smaller. So it, it really is a, a, a choice on your part, which way you want to go with that. Okay. Yeah, you want me to? Is that okay? You actually can buy black canvas. Sometimes, um, it, sometimes they can be hard to find. Actually, this past weekend, I went to pick up a couple more black canvases at the local store here and they didn't, they only had very, very large ones. So I bought black gesso. When you have black gesso, it, it, it really works beautifully. So then you can paint whatever canvas that you want. And you can use black acrylic paint if you want to, absolutely. The black acrylic is gonna give you a little bit of shine on that canvas. The gesso is a, is a matte finish, but you can use, you can use black paint. I've used black paint. I did a camp a few years ago with some teenagers and we painted black paint first and then used the white. So absolutely, you can do that. So whichever, because sometimes um, it can be hard to find a black canvas. And a lot of times they can be a little more expensive than a regular canvas. So, you know, um, you can just do that. You can just do it yourself with your black paint. Okay, I have my um, lighthouse traced on here and I'm gonna have Deborah kind of, I put this on here last night and I made a few little adjustments to the download that I, I had put on the, um, the site. 
and I've got a couple of little outlines of rocks, but I'm going to show you how to do a very simple rock. And we can, you can practice if you have on paper, um, or you can do it directly on the canvas, but I'm going to show you on paper first. I use Liquitex acrylic, whatever you have that works for you. This works pretty well. I'm not even going to put any black out right now because I'm really going to rely on just using my white paint. And I have several different flat brushes. I've got mediums, a couple of smaller ones. A lot of what you're going to use is a flat brush. You can use a round brush for some little details. It's really what might be comfortable for you, but I am going to stick with a flat brush. So I'm going to get started here. Um, let's see, just going to use a little white paint and I just kind of spread that. I don't want a whole lot. Um, using a flat brush, you can do a nice drag because I want that nice edge. I'm actually going to turn my canvas and I'm going to put this and just drag this down that edge. You're going to find when you're painting on a black canvas, it doesn't cover very well initially, which is great. Um, if you're using your, your flat brush too, you can hold it almost straight up and down and use that edge. And I just went past that edge. I'm going to turn this. And you're going to continue to paint this. But as I get down, I am not, I did not draw in the bottom of my lighthouse because I'm going to put some rocks in front. So you're actually not going to see that bottom of the lighthouse. So I'm going to leave some black area. See, when you're painting with white on a black canvas, your black canvas actually becomes part of your picture. It's not just that background. Um, so I'm going to leave like a ragged edge here. And you're going to paint this whole thing in. And don't be surprised that it doesn't look great <laughs> initially. You are going to see some of that black canvas showing through. But you're going to do additional layers of white. Um, depending on where your light source is, and that's something you can decide, is your light source coming from your left or coming from your right, um, will determine which side of your canvas, or excuse me, which side of your lighthouse is going to have more layers of white paint on it. So I'm just going to paint this in. Paint this. And again, don't worry that it doesn't really look the, the best right now. You're going to find that, see, some of that black comes through the black canvas. You can also take a tiny bit of white of water and go over your paint, which we will use when we're doing some of the rocks. But this helps to blend that white paint into the black canvas and eliminate those, those spots that you see. I'm gonna let this dry because you're doing multiple layers of white paint. You really have to let it dry in between. I'm going to turn this just a little bit because I want to straighten this out. Get along the edge here. Okay.
edges, though I want a little bit smaller um, flat brush. And I hope you like using a flat brush. There's so many different things that you can do with it, you know, besides holding this straight up and down and, and to the side. Um, I find it's, it's just a really neat brush to be able to use. I want to leave a white, uh, a black space before I do that next white area. Okay. So I have stopped my lighthouse here. I'm going to leave a, a black space and I'm going to do that next part of the, um, the lighthouse. So it's just, just a little paint on that. And just a little bit. You notice I use my, I also use my little finger to kind of balance uh, my, or steady my hand when I'm doing that. Again, just give it one look, one coat. It's going to be very light right now. Um, we're going to go back and we will paint that again. Okay. I'm going to leave another space of black and I'm going to paint another area. I'm going to use my paintbrush straight up and down and just there's that curve of the building because I'm looking up at this lighthouse. So I'm just um, seeing that curve. Okay. Again, you're going to need to leave another black space. And I'm going to paint in. I'm getting towards the top of the lighthouse. Now, if you have looked up any pictures of a, a lighthouse and, and you've changed the way this looks compared to the download, that's, that's fine. What you wanna make sure that you do is that you do leave those little black spaces in between the different sections of the, the lighthouse so you can distinguish the different parts of that building. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like one big white um, structure and you won't really notice too much. You can't, with the black, you're really like highlighting the um, different sections of the, of the building. I'm gonna make that curved. So I can use the side of my brush too. Okay. And I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna leave another little, just hold that brush almost perfectly straight up and down and do another little line. I'm beginning to get to the glass area of the, the lighthouse. Just, okay, I'm going to use that again. I've used the, the, the brush straight up and down, you know, to make these lines. And I'm going to do the same thing here for my glass. And I am just going to these lines very lightly. And you may not go back over these again. Okay. You may just want to leave those very, very light because it's hard to trace over those each time. Okay, I want to do the top of that lighthouse and I'm going to just bring this a little bit closer. Again, hold my brush straight up and down. And go across. I'm trying to follow that curve. And I usually try and find that middle. So I, this is the top of that lighthouse just so I'm a little bit even there. and bring the sides down. So you're painting a little triangle to the top of that lighthouse. And you wanna paint this in.
I'm sure you can see this is not looking the best right now because it's kind of grayish. It's, it's, you're probably thinking this is not great. This will be good. Let me just get that edge a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, which was one skinny, that was one curve in here. I broke it down into two. This one, this was a little bit thicker in here. I think actually um, we could see, I think what I did before, and I'm gonna paint over this. I think this was more what I had before. So we'll do this one. I think this was thicker. Because I have painted over this later on, I'll just I can I can go back and I can add black paint in between to to fix some of this that um, might look kind of strange right now. But because I've I've painted over a black section and I'm just going to leave this right now. That needs to just stay so it can dry. You can right now. Start putting another layer on whichever side of your lighthouse is going to be the highlighted um, side of your lighthouse. I am going to put my moon up here. So there is that is the right side of the lighthouse that is going to have the light area. And that's also is going to determine the tops of my, my rocks are getting the reflection from the moon. So I'm going to put another coat of white on this side of my, my lighthouse. And you can kind of brush this over. I'm just going to work this white paint across. Most of it is on this side, but I still want to work some of this over to make this look a little bit, a little bit better. This is where also I'm going to add a little water to my paint because as you thin out the white paint, obviously it's going to get a little bit lighter. And what I want to do is just fill in those spots of the black canvas that you can still see. And with the white paint and water added, it just lightens it up because there really isn't any way to lighten up white paint except to thin it down. And again, I'm going to stop and I'm going to let that dry. And then I will, I will add other coats of, of white paint. To get the highlight on this part of my can of my, my lighthouse, I'm going to go from the middle over to the right. I am not even going to put any paint on that left side of that. And I'm going to just do this a little bit. I'm not going to touch the glass at all. I'm going to leave that area, but I'm going to do the right side of the top of my lighthouse. It's very different using just white paint because um, of the limitations, you know, that you're, you're used to being able to blend different colors in and um, do shading if, if, you know, you do a lot of painting. But in this, you've just got white paint. 
you can thin it out to make it look lighter, but that's about all you can do with it. And then you have to depend on the black canvas to give you any shadow um, that you might need. So I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna leave this again. I'm gonna leave that alone. And we're gonna start on, on some rocks. And actually, I am going to take a piece of black paper first. When you're painting rocks, you want to think of them as, um, I'm going to draw this first. Rocks have tops, sides. Um, think of them in different planes. So think of that as the top, the side, you know, that side. Um, you can do more rounded rocks or you can also do angular, you know, I like to, I tend to do more angular. And what I'm gonna draw, right, I'm not drawing the entire rock. Um, I'm gonna draw this top edge and then the side will get painted in, again, using white with a little bit of water. So this would be, this would be my rock. I'm gonna use that top edge, that edge of the paintbrush. And this doesn't flow as nicely as it does on canvas. This is regular construction paper, but you would be painting. Yeah, this is not. And see, I would add a little water to create the side of my rock. This might be the little bit of the front of the rock. This is going to be that watered down white is going to be the side of my rock. Again, you have to wait for the paint to dry and you come back and you continually add to that white uh, to the top where the moon is shining and it creates that illusion. I'm gonna use this. See, this is painted a brighter white and then it becomes, it's watered down and it thins down to the side. Once you get the shapes of your rocks in, and you painted them completely, then you go back and you just highlight the tops of them that gives that illusion of 3D. Okay, so I'm gonna go and put this on the canvas because there's a big difference painting on the canvas than there is painting. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna go back because I wanna put a rock in front of the bottom of my lighthouse. Make sure I get the water out of that right now. But I'm going to wipe that. And I'm going to paint. I'm going to do like an angle here. Um, so this is the top of my rock. I can wipe that off. I'm just going to wipe this down. You know, like I said, it doesn't probably look like much right now, but this is going to be the top edge. It's fun. See, when I was doing this, okay, um, here's when I painted this rock, it's just, I'm painting the top of the rock. And then what I did was I just kind of dragged some of that white paint down the side to make the side of the rock. And then I go back and I continually paint that top. See, there's not much to this, the side here, you know, and you don't want, you don't want the side of the rock to be as bright as the top of the rock. The moon is shining on the tops of the rocks. So you've got to use that black canvas to create that illusion of 3D. So let's, let's do another one here. Um, I'm gonna leave that right here so we can keep going back and forth to that. Um, okay, so let's, let's do another one here. Um, and, you know, think of uh, the easiest way to paint these are to, to think in shapes, like think rectangles, 
Um, now I am gonna leave a little space between this one and I'm gonna paint, I'm just gonna paint this one kind of rounded. Right here in my mind, I do, actually I'll paint this line. I do want a little bit of a hill here. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave, paint that in there for myself as a guide. So this rock, I'm gonna paint this whole thing in one, I'm just gonna paint it all in in white. It's, um, if you think in angles, straight lines, sometimes that's easier. I am going up and then down. I'm gonna do this as an angle. So right here would be the front of the rock. This would be more of the side and on top here, I'll go back and paint this brighter later. So you can start to see the difference here on this rock. Here is the top of this rock. Here's the front side, which it's gonna get some light from this moon up here, but this, over here is not, that's the side that's in shadow. Every time you add one, make sure you leave a little spot um, of black in between. Um, okay, let's do like I said, again, I do angles. Thinking, okay, there's a top to a rock. This would be the front side. Okay, this actually can be also the top. So, and this kind of angles down. So I'm looking at this shape here as the top of my rock. Excuse me. So here's the top and here's the side. And I don't wanna put any extra white paint on this. Again, if you want to, you can add a little water, which sees, starts to blend that paint in and fill in those little spots of black canvas. I'm gonna wipe out some of that water. Depending on where you put your lighthouse, also, you know, I don't know how many rock, how much of a rocky area you, you have. I started, because I wanted this, this black section here, I started from the left, so I'm kind of building my rocks going towards, this is my water up here. So um, I'm just gonna keep uh, building here. Oh, let's do another one here. So, so as you can see this right here, this is the top of my rock. And I will go back again later, make this even brighter. But right now, this is the top of my rock. And I'm just kind of working this in. This is the side, which is going to be in, in shadow. White, using white, and it, you know, you may find it, that it's hard to get used to, um, but you can do a lot with just white. Um, you know, and now it's, it's kind of like, okay, where else do I want to rock? I'm building across here. Um, I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to come across. So as you can see, I do angles first. 
and again, make sure you leave black space in between because the black canvas actually becomes your ground. Plus you need that black to distinguish um, This would be a kind of a, this is going to be a side. This will be a top. Don't worry if it doesn't look like much right now. because that white on the black, it takes a while and it takes multiple coats for it to be, start becoming something. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one here. So this would be my side. Leave that, and I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna give this a little bit of height here. Let's... You can always go back and, and you know touch these up too and just kind of, I'm gonna change the shape of this one just a little bit. Okay, and just keep going across. I'm gonna skip this spot right here because I just wanna show you this up here is, this is where my, I'm gonna end my, um, my rocks. They're gonna be, um, this would be like the edge of the ledge. So you can see where I'm going with this. Another one here. And I'm just going to do this. So basically, this is the edge of um, my rocky ledge. I'm just going to paint those in. We'll go back later and determine tops and sides. So I need to put um, one in here. Let's see. And it's, it's a lot of times, now that I'm doing this, I have to determine the, the shape of the rock by what I've done be previous to this. So um, let's do this and just kind of go around here. And yes, you're going to end up with some very strange looking rocks. That's fine. Just kind of paint those in. This would be more of a front, a little bit of a side. So I'm looking at the top here. That's going to be my bright area. Um, okay. Again, straight lines, angled lines. This one is going to go off. If you're going to, if this is going to go on a wall without, you know, you can actually bring the, the rock all the way around. And if, if you want to leave this plain black, you can, but you could actually bring that all the way around if you wanted to.
you know, when I look at this rock, the moon is coming. This is also going to get some bright area. So this will probably across the top here. And this is probably going to be my, my side. So I've got to let that dry. And you just kind of start filling in. shapes. I'll put another. I think I'm going to connect this one. The nice thing about having some black paint later, you can um, go back and go in between these little lines. So you can show the, the, the uh, separation of the rocks. You know, every once in a while, I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to go back again and I'm going to go over that right side. Oh, my, um, my lighthouse again. Give it some more. Okay, I'm going to put another rock in here. There's a plane. Okay, so this is going to be basically the top of the rock. So this would be kind of a side. Um, but because the moon is over here, I'm probably going to get more light on this side. And that right over there. And I'm just going to put a couple of little ones over here. They're almost just like little triangles. Maybe another one. And I wanted this to be kind of like a walkway. Um, I just might put another little rock right here. I 
add a little water to this. You can see where the water helps to fill in that black area. So this would be the top of my rock. A little bit of the side of my rock. And I've got a spot there. So let's put another little one in here. There's the top. And it would be a little bit of the side. I pull that down to make the side. Okay. Um, yes, rocks are, um, you know what, let me put this. I'm just gonna try, you know, on paper, the paint was not good, but if, you know, this is just all right, a white pencil. What you're doing with your paint is your, think of, like I said, it is a flame. Okay, so this would be, let's say, the top of the rock. This is the part you're going to put multiple layers of paint on and then the side. You, you know, and this can be rounded, but you just kind of pull that paint down a little bit, water it down. And the I, this is the idea that you're using that white paint, you know, um, to show the top, the highlight, and a, a thinner, a lighter, watered down white paint to show the sides of the rock because your moon is going to be up here. And so your light source is hitting just all the tops of these rocks. Okay. You know, and you can do more angled, you know, rocks too. Um, so this might be, this is the top. Um, well, let's do another little. And this would be that, that thinned out water down paint for your rock. And so you'd go back and you'd keep working. You're gonna keep working that top area. That's what you're gonna do, okay? Using a white colored pencil to just kind of give you an idea of um, how you wanna use your paint. Because right now, everything here is just um, is watered down. So now, let me get the water out of this brush. And if I'm going to, now I'm going to go back. This is the top plane of this rock. And this is the only section I'm going to paint. All right, I'm gonna go back and see. Again, you now you wanna look at these and like this one, I've got the top to that. I'm gonna add more white paint thinking this is my moon, which, um, okay, let's, you know what? Now that I keep saying the moon, let's go do the moon. And I'm gonna do this uh, again on paper first. With a flat brush, a lot of times people, you can use a round brush for this if you want, but a lot of times I use a flat brush for everything. I'm just going to make a half circle. And see what I would do then is with a little water on my paintbrush, I'm gonna pull the white from that and make the other side. And then paint this in. I'm gonna do it on here so my moon, okay, 
I'm going to pull this. I'm going to do this. Actually, my moon is kind of going off here. But so my white paint, and I'm going to wipe some of this off, and I'm going to do the other side of my moon and just kind of drag this. And I always use my little finger to steady this and then paint this in. I again will go over this. And when I do, it's always going to be more on this left side here because I want the illusion that this is shining on the tops of my rocks. So I am just going to highlight the top of that rock and then I can just pull this down a little bit. Just grab a little bit of that wet paint and pull it down so it doesn't look like there's a, a real edge to it. Let's do one of these bigger ones. So this is the top of my rock that the moon is going to get shine its light on. And I'm going to figure this is kind of looks like a chair to me right now. But then I would pull some of this, just pull some of this down, or if you need to add a tiny bit of water, just kind of keep pulling this down to the side. But I want the top to be the brightest part of all. And this you're going to do with all of them. And you may end up doing this three, you know, three times or depending on how bright you want it. But this is the top of my rock that's going to get that light on it right here. Maybe a little bit in here too. And then I just want to pull this down. This down here doesn't get so much of the white on it. Oh, excuse me, this the moonlight. But I just, I don't want to see that real line between the white paint and the side of the rock. It is a little, it's time consuming, really, because you really need to let, every time you do the white paint, you need to let that dry before you do another layer. I'm just going to pull that down. And if you don't like the shape of some of your rocks at the very end, and I'm going to do some black work in here too, because um, my rocks kind of blend in with the, the lighthouse here. You can go back and touch things up with a little bit of black paint. Um, I, since I painted mine with gesso, I'm going to use the gesso on mine to clean up some of those edges. This rock is kind of a mess right here. And I joined those two rocks together and honestly, don't really like the way I did that. So I'm going to, I'll fix that later with some black paint. I'm going to skip this and I'm going to go over here and make this little rock and I'll fix that other with black paint later. So this is the, the top of this rock right here. With a little bit of, I'm gonna just, this is gonna be a little bit of a side. I'm gonna pull this down so it looks a little more three-dimensional. We can always go back. You can put little grasses growing in between if you wanted to. Um, and
this down a little bit. So it's Make sure you let your paint dry in between layers because it can, if you start putting another layer of white paint on before that first layer is dry, sometimes you actually take off and then you'll, add, you'll end up with a really hard edge because you've actually taken off some paint um, from the previous layer. So make sure one layer of paint is dry before you add that other layer. So. much paint on that. This is the top. And this will be more the side of my, my rock here. A lot of times when you're using your paintbrush to the direction of it, that you're painting in determines how that, that result, how it's going to look. So when I'm painting, I want to go back. So this one right here, I'm going to put another layer. This is the top. And I'm going to change directions. This is the side of my, my, my rock. So that also helps when you're painting those brush strokes, which um, direction visually, this is the top. And I'm going to paint that across. And that is the top of my rock. When you come down, that is the side of my rock. And it may sound like it's, you know, a simple, but it really does make a difference, just like when you color with a colored pencil. You know, the top would be a horizontal. Um, the side, I'm going to do vertical strokes to determine that, that motion of um, horizontal and vertical. Now, depending on how many rocks you have, you have a lot of painting to do. This one, I am going to paint this front side of the rock very bright because it probably is getting some some light from the moon. But then the side is not going to be, I'm just going to kind of blend that in. And there's that the top of this little tiny thing. Change this a little bit. And then just wipe this side of that rock. Make that a little more rounded. This one is the one we're going to have to add a little more. I'm going to have to put some black up in here to separate from the, the actual lighthouse and the rock. Um, no, 
you don't have to. I mean, if somebody could, what I was going to do, I'll just do a little, what I was going to do later is with the holding my brush straight up and down. See, I was going to put just some plants, just little things growing. In fact, even, whoops, since I painted that, I'm going to put some here. See, I can do this now. You can't see that over the rocks. But see, I can go back with some black paint and add a little black in there. So you can see this, the, um, the plants you know, that might be growing there. So that can be done with black also. Well, if you, I'm just gonna do this. I don't, usually a stippling brush is kind of rounded and yes, very stiff, but um, let's do this one. I could, yeah, you could stipple, which is an up and down motion. Um, that would give it texture, you know, I could do that. And that, that would give it texture, which could be very interesting. Yeah, actually that's kind of, yes, that is kind of interesting. It does give it a rough little texture to it. It would help to blend in the side too. Um, let's do another one up here. You're just gonna go up and down over that bright area that you've painted. See, and I still, I'm getting kind of a hard edge right there. So I, this is a dry brush. I just wanna soften that edge between the, the top and the side because I really don't want like a hard edge here from the top to the side. So you could, you could keep going over that. And again, I'm gonna take a dry brush. There's no paint on this brush and I'm just gonna soften that little edge. But you can see the difference from the top of this rock to the side of that rock. And that's what you're trying to create is that illusion um, of 3D just with white paint. And it may take you, um, a, you know, much longer than this class to actually, you know, get all of these rocks the way you want them because you have to let, you're letting that paint dry in between. Um, and I can use that dry brush right, even right here, just to kind of soften that edge. So it may take you a while to get those rocks the way you want them. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paint over. I'm gonna give that another coat. Just going to curve that. And again, I could add water to this, or we're just going to see this dry brush. I can use that dry brush to kind of pull that across. But I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I probably will add more white paint to that. Um, make these rocks look a little more solid here. These are in shadow anyway, so because they're on the other side of that that lighthouse. This is the edge of my, I'm gonna just put a little line in there. And since this is the edge of the cliff here, I'm gonna, I'm just kind of using my eye, just kind of angle that over, there's the edge. You could put more rocks up there on the edge if you want to. You can keep adding another, if you've got all your rocks in, another way of adding, okay, I can, you know, I can follow this edge here and I'm just gonna do, Basically, I'm doing almost a contour line right around that. And, and then I'm gonna smooth this out. 
this actually could be another rock. Let's pull that side down a little bit. So I have a little bit of black. Um, now let's make this a little bit higher. That could be another rock. I could do another one right here. Um, I mean, you can, you can keep adding. Um, I might want to add one there. And since I've brought this up higher, I probably you know, should, should make some over here. You know, at some point, you need to determine your horizon line, how far you want that. Um, you know, it's really up to you. I would turn this, and you want to load up that brush, just you want that edge. And I know this part is dry. So again, I'm gonna use my brush straight up and down and I'm just going to draw a, a line not very dark just one little bit of a horizon line it's a little bit thicker than I wanted but I can always fix that if you want to create a little reflection in the water where your moon is, a little bit of paint, a little bit of water. Okay, I'm just going to make some strokes across. I'm going to use a little bit of a dry brush, kind of blend this, and you can make that stronger. I would use very little paint and some water on your brush. And if you have a dry brush, or just wipe your brush on that paper towel, so you just have a little bit of a reflection. Okay, um, I'm going to put out a little bit of black here. This is black gesso because my canvas is, has been gessoed. If my canvas was painted with black paint, I would be using um, black paint to do any touch-ups on this. With a flat brush, I put this down and just curved it. Just drag it in a half circle, just drag it. Okay. And then I added a little bit of water and I would do the other side and just drag it to do the other side of the moon. Just kind of blend those two together. You want, I mean, you can make the whole moon. I just um, sometimes do one side of the moon brighter than the other. Um, I'm trying to focus the light source is coming from the left side of the moon onto the right side of the lighthouse. But that moon could be totally painted in. Um, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this out.
but it's just dragging. Some people like to use a round brush to make a circle. Um, I don't, I use a flat brush for almost everything. Now this got a little sloppy here, but I can fix that with some black paint or some the black gesso. That's the nice thing about a black canvas. <laughs> which I'm gonna use the black up in here. And I'm gonna get us, just to show you, I've got a oh, small one here. Um, okay. I want to make those separations a little bit nicer. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna drag, whoops, this brush. Nope, I'm not gonna use that brush. Um, I've got a little tiny round brush that I'm gonna use. I just wanna make this line crisper. So I'm, again, I'm gonna hold my brush straight up and down. And I just wanna drag this. I'm going to do the same thing in between. So I've got the white, the lighthouse. I've got a space, which is still part of my lighthouse. I'm going to, and there's another white area, which is part of the building. But then I want to, I want to separate this again. Just so I don't have so much white. Okay. And if you feel that it's, if, you know, if you want to um, clean up, so I can, I'm just going to go this, you, I haven't got anything on here. You can clean up some of these edges with your black paint or in my case, um, gesso. I'm just going to clean up that little black area where the white, because when I redid this, Okay, because um, initially I, I still think I might put that black line in between there. Okay, while I've got this in my hand, remember I painted some, uh, just some grasses down here, but you really can't see it. With the black, you can go back on top of this if you want to highlight that, that area and put you know, some grasses in there, which I could do up here also. I can put you know, some things I want a little bit growing. Okay, because I have kind of a mess in here, there's, this is my lighthouse, okay. My, the bottom of my lighthouse is probably in here someplace, but I don't want this to blend all in with um, the rocks. So I'm actually just gonna go in here and put just a little black line separating the rock and the lighthouse. You need that visual separation. Oh, that's not coming out. Okay. You need that visual separation. Um, there. And I'm going to put a little bit over here also. So you can see where the lighthouse is and uh, going behind the rocks. And anything in here that you might want to clean up, you know, and really make the, the structure of the rock look more solid. Because as you, when you paint on this, because um, you're spreading out the white, 
Sometimes the edges looked rather soft and that's not exactly what a rock is. You know, so you can go back and you can add a little black in here, that separation to give um, the rocks those illusions of being like more solid. And I, this is the one I wanna clean up because I really didn't like this one. So, this is gonna need extra black in here, but I'm just want, I wanna separate these two areas I thought it would be a good idea to join them at first, but no. And I can clean this up. So you can do that. You know, the first time you paint with just white is just really different because um, you have to think of the canvas, the color of the canvas, the black, as a color that you're painting with. And, you know, you have to allow for that to become that's part of your painting. It's not just a background that you're gonna paint in at some eventual time. Um, it is part of your painting. It is the ground, you know, it is part of the lighthouse separating the different stages of the lighthouse. So you have to deal with that. Um, It's just really, it's very, very different. There's no such thing as a light white. Lighten up your white. Well, the only thing you can do is add water to it and thin it. Um, if some of you do want to add um, more detail, to your, your lighthouse if you actually wanted to, to you know, start to draw in any brick or anything that, I would recommend you actually use a Sharpie marker, a real, a real extra, extra fine point. And I don't think I would you know, do a lot, but if you wanna show some little areas or parts um, you know, to distinguish some bricks, you could do that, but I, I don't think I would try it with paint. I think I would try it with a Sharpie. I think I would do it in a pencil first. So it, um, you could probably paint white paint over it if you don't like the way it looks. Uh, I'll put the top of this just a little something on the top of that. And you just keep going around and touching up. Um, any areas, again, that need to be highlighted. You are never going to get a real pure, pure white because you've painted on black. Okay, there is always going to be an element of, yeah, I'm gonna hold this one up. There's always gonna be that element of dark in here because you're painting on a black canvas, okay? Um, better viewed probably at a distance. It, it is very striking to have that black and white. You can, if you have a tiny, tiny brush, sometimes even, even a toothpick, you could add little birds in that background on the sky. And what I forgot to do was add, I'm just gonna put, the, put my brush again, straight up and down that light, just a little dab and that light in the lighthouse. The moon is really your, um, the moon, you're taking white paint on your flat brush and you're just, you're dragging like a half circle, okay? You're dragging that half circle. And again, this is not gonna be as, as easy to show, but then I would wipe this paint out and put a little bit of water on my brush and I would do the opposite side. Now, again, you can, it's not very good on the, but you can see how it's grayish. And then just kind of blend those two together, okay? And then when you redo that white, you're just painting 
you're just kind of just doing that one side again. Just doing that one side and maybe just kind of tap that over so you don't end up, you know, have that little ridge of paint. Okay, so every time you're adding that white paint, you're going on, I'm doing it on the left side. So you can see that this is much brighter than the right side of the moon. Because um, mine got a little sloppy here, I'm just going to touch up that right side of the moon with a little bit of, of black. So you want to think of your light source, which side is going to be the lightest. If you have, if you ran into a problem with this getting a little out of whack, when this is all dry, I've used a ruler and line this ruler up, you know, and then paint. Um, a little black down the side to make that a little crisper. See, mine actually seeped underneath the paper, but I can go back and fix that. Okay. So a ruler is actually better. Um, working with a black canvas, working with black and white, because black will cover any of this. You can always go back and make little adjustments here and there and make little edges crisper. Or you don't like something, completely paint it out. You know, that's, that's something else you can do. Just, just paint over it. Um, because I have gesso, I would use gesso. Don't you, I wouldn't put black paint on this because the black paint is gonna be shiny and my gesso surface is as a matte finish. So just, you know, make sure you use the same um, material. If this, if I had painted my canvas black, I would do my adjustments with black paint. So. I'm just gonna kind of keep painting here. Any of these tops. I want to add just a little more. So really your, your thinking is in light and dark when you're using white paint and on a black canvas. I'm just thinking mountains would be beautiful. Any, a landscape would, could really be beautiful. Um, just again, just using white paint. Let's see if we can. that until that's dry. Well, I hope you also enjoyed working mostly with a flat brush because a lot of times um, you don't use a flat brush as much for some paintings, but I love using a flat brush because you can hold it different ways and there's so many different things you can do with it. You know, you can use that, that tip. You can use it straight up and down, of course, as a regular brush. And all I'm doing again is just adding that extra bright white along the edges of these rocks where the moon is going to catch them. Oops, a little too much there. A 
Now on some of these, <clears throat> you could actually paint a little white right on that very edge. And you've got another different white that's been spread out and then you've got that watered down white so you can use that straight white, just very thin line, as if it's just a little bit. Moon is just catching that right on the edge. And this one, I'm going to do more of a triangle. Catch that edge and a little bit in here and then just kind of spread it out this way. So the moon is catching it right here. And maybe a little bit over here. That rock has dipped and then turned. Try and think how the light would hit the areas of the rock would hit in here. It's going to hit up at the top here, maybe a little on that edge. So I'm just going to highlight those areas. In a way, now you're creating a light, a medium, and the side as a dark. Light. Yeah, actually, it might hit over in this opposite corner as well. Put a little on these too, even though this, the moon doesn't really get to these, but I want them to look, um, I have some real shape to them, some three dimension to them. So. And this one, I forgot about this one right here. You know, you can always go back at any time and keep adding to these also, you know, you've got, if you wanted to fill this whole area in, you could fill this whole this this whole space in with all rocks if you don't want a, a walkway. Um, might as well put another one. And when you get that shape, think of how the light is going to hit that. So this, I'm going to use my brush. This is, these would be sides. Those are, think of a different plane, you know, a vertical and a horizontal. So I'm just going to, even going to draw this in. I can see this, these are the sides of my rock. This is the top of my rock. And this, and this even here is a side. This is the other side. So when I come back, this is the area that I'm going to highlight. Right in here. I 
to wait for that to dry. Um, Let's see. I want to just want to put some little more grasses in here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of white here. And I'm going to come back and put gray, black on top of that so I can see that better. I'm going to make this rock a little bit bigger. Hopefully um, you enjoyed it, you know, and um, you'll try painting with white again um, on a black canvas or, you know what, it could be a blue canvas, paint on a dark green canvas. Just, you know, try something different. It doesn't always have to be um, just a white canvas with, you know, with colors. Um, try something different. Um, this one is mine after following my own directions, but... <laughs> You know, and you know, if you look online too, there's all kinds of beautiful lighthouses. But yes, this one's mine. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye from the Appleton. <laughs>